Welcome back to the energy conversion lectures. In this lecture, we will continue what we started in a previous lecture and provide more details about the operation of the single excited linear motion relay system. Now let's try to explain graphically what happens when the moving part moves towards the C-shaped magnet. Assume the air gap distance is represented by the variable x. Also, assume the original distance of the air gap is where x equal to x1. Initially, the force Fm is zero at x equal to x1. And as the voltage is applied, the force Fm is increasing until the moving part reaches the C-shaped magnet at x equal to x2. This figure shows the behavior of the air gap distance x with respect to time as the voltage V is applied. As you can see, as the voltage is applied, the air gap distance x getting smaller until reaches x2. In terms of the current, the current starts to increase until reaches certain value and then start to reduce as the air gap distance x getting very small and eventually the moving part stop at x equal x2. After that, the current start to increase at certain time constant because the inductance is fixed when there is no movement. Let's divide this graph into four sections, A, B, C, and D, to explain why the current has this response. Let's start with section A. Section A represents the part where the voltage is applied. As you can see, as the voltage is applied, the current is going to increase very fast because the inductance is very small at the beginning. This current will cause changes in the magnetic field. As mentioned before, this changes or increases in the magnetic field produces some force on the moving part and the moving part start to move. As the moving part is moving, the air gap is getting smaller and the inductance start to increase. Now, since the current I and the inductance L are increasing, the magnetic field linkage Psi will be changed or increase at high rate as shown. Now, because of the high change in the magnetic field linkage, the magnetic circuit will produce enough back EMF that cause the current to be reduced as shown in section B. In response to all these changes in current and magnetic field linkage, Psi, the moving part will reach the distance x equal x2 and stop moving. At this point, there is no changes in the inductance and therefore the current will increase at certain time constant of tau equal to L over R, as shown in section C. Once the current is settled down, the current will continue to be constant and equal to I equal V over R, as represented by section D. Period D, or section D, can also be called steady state period. The period where the current and the magnetic field linkage are changing is called transient period. The most important point to learn here is that the electromechanical energy conversion process is happened within the transient period and specifically during the mechanical movement only, as shown. To be more specific, the process of electromechanical energy conversion happens during the movement or the change of the inductance. In other words, there is no electromechanical energy conversion when the inductance is fixed. This statement will be proved during the upcoming lectures. The other important point is that the electrical input power, which represented by the voltage and current, is transferred during the electromechanical conversion process 
into three parts. The first part is the mechanical power which represented by the force and linear displacement x. The second part is the rate of change in the field energy or increase in the magnetic field linkage. Obviously, the increase in stored energy is happened because of the increase in the magnetic field linkage when the air gap and the inductance are changing. The third part is the power loss. It should be noted here that the increase of the magnetic field or stored energy is just side effect because of the movement. The actual goal of the process is to achieve output mechanical power or energy. As we discussed earlier, the power loss will be ignored because they are not contributing to the process of the electromechanical energy conversion process. Since the power is changing during the process, this equation can be represented as a change of energy d over dt as follows, where dWe over dt represents rate of change in electrical energy. dWm over dt represents rate of change in mechanical energy and dWf over dt represents rate of change in field energy. This equation can also be represented in differential form as follows. The differential symbol d represents change or increment in energy. This equation represents the motoring operation where a change or increment in electrical energy will equal to a change or increment in mechanical energy plus a change or increment in field energy or stored energy. This equation is also called the energy balance equation and it is going to be used for developing the force and torque expressions. It is worth to know that the positive mathematical sign of the field energy change term expresses the increase in the field energy. The differential format of energy balance equation for the regeneration operation can be represented as shown. As we can see, in case of regeneration operation, the change in mechanical energy is equal to change in electrical energy plus change in field energy or stored energy. Before ending this lecture, let's ask ourselves the following two questions. Is it possible to model the relay electromechanical system by an inductance L? Also, how to form the voltage equation of such magnetic circuit? To answer these two questions, let's compare the relay system with similar magnetic circuit but with all parts are fixed. When all parts are fixed, the magnetic circuit can be represented by constant inductance L if we assume that this magnetic circuit is linear magnetic system. While this magnetic circuit is represented by inductance function to the permeability L mu if the magnetic circuit is nonlinear magnetic system. The general voltage equation of this magnetic circuit is equal to V equal IR plus D psi over DT. This general voltage equation can be applied for both linear and nonlinear magnetic systems. Now, if we assume that this magnetic circuit is linear magnetic system, the expression psi equal Li can be used. Therefore, the voltage equation can be represented as follows. V equal IR plus L DI over DT, where L is constant. Now, in case of the relay system, 
the inductance can be represented by L of X if we assume the magnetic circuit is linear magnetic system. In other words, the inductance is function to X where X is the linear movement or air gap length. If we assume that the relay system is nonlinear magnetic system, the inductance can be represented as L of X and mu as shown. In other words, the inductance is function to air gap length X and the permeability mu. The general voltage equation of this magnetic circuit is equal to V equal IR plus D psi over DT. As mentioned earlier, if we assume that the relay magnetic circuit is linear magnetic system, the expression psi equal L of X I can be used. Again, the expression psi L of X I can only be used if the magnetic circuit is linear magnetic system. Therefore, the voltage equation can be represented as follows. It is very clear that the voltage equation has additional term I d L of X over DT, which is introduced because the inductance is changing with X. In other words, the additional term is show up because the inductance is function to the linear movement X and it is not constant. Let's conclude this lecture at this point and we'll continue in the next lecture. Let me know if you have any question. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any lecture. Thanks for listening. I'm Ihsan al-Nabi and it was pleasure sharing this lecture with you. Thank you.